Hong Zhang, the second of our 64 straight line forms in Yizong Bakwa. This movement walks in a 45 degree angle, so it's crisscrossing the room. You step forward with your back leg and draw a big circle with your, in this case, right hand. While the hand is dropping towards the center of your body, the other hand is piercing forward with the fingertips. Now step up with the back leg into the other direction, pull your arm towards the side. Now continue this circular motion to come down to your foot and connect your wrists before you push out into another 45 degree angle with both hands. Connect the feet again and start over on the other side. 45 degree angle stepping, big circle and piercing forward with the back hand. Bring the leg forward and pull to the side, full rotation with your spine. Going down, connect the wrists and push out of the position into a gongbu bow stance. 45 degree stepping, big circle and piercing, pulling to the side, continuing this pulling circle down and connecting the wrists before you push forward into gongbu. Now when you step up again, use this same foot as your pivot point to turn and face the other direction. Pull, connect and push out of the position. One, two, three, four and five to finish. Again the turning, step up, use this foot as your pivot point, continue with the same movement and close the movement, inhale, exhale to finish. Now let's take a look at the same movement in slow motion. Starting from the starting position with your left hand in front of you, you step forward with your right leg and at the same time you draw a big circle with your right arm going up and then letting your hand sink towards the center of your body while your left hand is piercing forward with the fingertips. Second step, step forward with your left or back leg and pull back before you continue with the circle to connect your wrists and push out of the low position into a gongbu. To finish, your back leg is going to be pulled forward and closing the structure when before you start over with your left leg again, drawing the big circle and piercing forward, stepping up with your back leg while pulling towards the side into full rotation, continuing with a circle to close your wrists and connect them before pushing out of the low position into a gongbu. We continue with regular speed. When you step up, use your back foot as a pivot point to turn into the other direction and then continue with the same movement. It's stepping, piercing, pulling and pushing out of the low position. Pull to the side, close your wrists, connect them and pivot to the other side. Always finish this movement with your left leg in front of you. Inhale, exhale and stop. Same movement from the front. Here it becomes very visible that I'm stepping in 45 degree angles. When pulling to the side I make sure my elbow stays low. I Continue with the circular pull before I connect my wrists and push forward out into a gongbu stance, connecting the legs again. Piercing forward, stepping up and pulling to the side, keeping my elbow low, continuing the circular pull before connecting the wrists, very important here, and coming into gongbu before connecting the legs again. Step up with your back leg and use the same leg as your pivot point to turn into the other direction, stepping again in 45 degree angles. Now when you pull with your arm to the side with the rotational movement, make sure that your knee and your toes are still 
pointing in the same direction. It sometimes happens if you pull too much and you rotate too much from your upper body that your knee will be pulled out towards the side and then you might feel a little strain in your outer ligaments. So try to keep everything in line, knees, hand, shoulders, hips and also the toes. So the same rules of alignment also apply to this movement.